that I sat myself down with a paper and pen and wondered what to write. Panicked in brain and going insane at eight o'clock at night. Circular thinking, cerebrally shrinking, but inspiration none. Nine o'clock now, I'm sweating a brow, my problems have truly begun. Except I looked for a source and I found it, of course, but when I turned on my TV, I felt so poor and so mentally sore as soon as I pressed channel three. There was a deck in his hand, a celebrity rant, and a chef who did turn the air blue, and talent who got it, but this just was not it, and then ten o'clock came on cue. Sad information and cheap speculation, the evil sensation of lies, and stories so low from the 6.30 show from which they'd all been reprised. Then a lady called Heather said whether the weather would be good fair weather or not, and then on came a show of a film, I don't know, punctuated by adverts for grot. Praying to sleep, praying to weep, I still needed something to write, and the film was a lot of horrible horror, so I wouldn't be sleeping that night. So through the small hours I saw ivory towers being shown on the Parliament Channel, with arrogant losers and arrogant schmoozers besuited and talking in flannel, which sad regression turned into depression which finally dragged me to sleep. But nightmares persisted not to be resisted as into the blackness they creep. And then I woke in the morn, now feeling forlorn, seeing I'd failed in my task. Time was so short and I felt so caught at home was too much to ask. But then I felt all right as I thought of the night as I slowly rose up from my bed. I remembered it all with near perfect recall. So I wrote all that nonsense instead. <laughs> The me medicinal powers of custard are as of yet not known to man, but there's a mad professor called Alpha Contessa made the cure for all ills, at least that is his plan. By genetically redesigning the structure of this liquid so yellow, he's turning it into a substance which will help town priors to bellow. And after they've been treated at his surgery in the, in the Unstrand, they will go and shout out right all over the land how the rest of us mortals can, can make our lives better with the, the, the redesigned custard of Alfred Contessa. For increasing voice volume is not the only result, it can cure hiccups if it's mixed up with salt, and it's also the cure for extremely sore lips, just add to the mixture a few apple pips, rub it on your lips and it will soon sink in. An advantage is it makes you really thin, so you can scoff lo loads of food like huge, huge hot dogs with mustard. Three cheers for the professor and his magical custard, which is not only a cure for all manner of ills, it's cheaper and more effective than prescribed medicine pills. Think of the money that doctors will save, the redesigned custard will begin a new wave. Of good health for all people, no matter what your ma malady. J just take two, 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 two spoonfuls in your first cup of tea, and then you can face the world safe in the thought that the the effect of your your illnesses will will come to naught. And soon it will be shipped out all over the land under Alfred Contessa's new medical brand. And all of the money he makes from his find will donate to charity, for he is extremely kind. And in years to come, us, us mortals who, who are lesser will herald and revere Alfred Contessa, who redesigned custard to a medicine universal. Did I mention cleans clothes well if you mix it with person? <laughs>